You can hear my voice, but we're in Peterhead, and this is where the Glen Eugee distillery used to be. And if you can see the, the lettering on the, the roof of the, this warehouse here, which is one of the remnants, it says Long John Finest Scotch Whiskey, which was the blend that Glen Eugee went into. Ken, what I mean, like Jimmy. Over here, this is one of the big uh, fucking, I don't know what that is. It's called Score, I don't know what to do. It's a big building. But there, that's an old windmill stump that was here with the distillery, when the distillery was here also, which they seem to have saved for some reason. Ah, on the hills, lads, there's nothing up here. But there's a pub, they say, across the bay, with a hoot scrum and beer. Well, let you make the journey on your way up to the top. I bought it ain't so bad, I'm a great big, big bottle of scotch. Well, dancing around whiskey, dancing around my guy. With a hay in a hole, and away we go. We'll get to drink until we die with whiskey bar. For breakfast on a cold and frosty morn. How you go right for that bottle? It's like you've been reborn. Hey, dancing around. Oh, hello again, it's me, your best friend. Just to let you see that even though the distillery is no longer there, I've still got a sample here of the whiskey. This is a kind of size choice, uh, Glen Eugee, distilled in 1966. So it probably sat and matured in one of these warehouses here or here. But the distillery is long gone. Like Long John. Right, let's get the hell out of here before that bloody power station makes us turn into some kind of deformed weirdos with like webs, eyelids or something. If you can see on the lettering on the doorway there it says GC3 Warehouse number 6. Wonder what's in there now. Also known as the Invernetti Distillery. Excuse me. 